Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Pix to create an eye-catching New Year's background for your Doodly videos. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. With the New Year coming up, you may be looking to make a special Doodly video to celebrate. You'll see here I've already started creating a Happy New Year video in Doodly but it's missing a little sparkle. And I thought it would be fun to create something and bring it in here. Pix is a great tool for doing just that. Now, if you're not familiar with Pix, it's okay. It's one of Doodly's siblings. Both Doodly and Pix are part of the Voomly Cloud app. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch my Voomly Cloud app here. And you'll see these are all of the programs that I have installed in my account. Your account, if you have one, may look different. If you do have the Boomly Cloud app and you have Pix, go ahead and launch it. And we're going to start by clicking New. And we want a custom image, and I want it to be 1920 by 1080. That's the default doodly size. Click Create. And here I just have a transparent project. One of the neat things about Pix is if you go over here to the image library, you'll see it's integrated with Pixabay. So anything in Pixabay, is right at your fingertips. So let's go ahead and type something in. I'm gonna say champagne, and let's just see what we come up with. Something like that would be kind of fun. That, I like this one. So I'm gonna go with this one. And of course you can go ahead and export it right now and that would be fine, but I'm gonna use a few other tools. So the first thing I wanna do is maybe make it slightly blurry because remember, this is just a background element. It's not going to be much of my video. You know, I don't want it to be too distracting. So I want to go over to my adjustment tool. And right here, I have several adjustments, one of which is blur. And I can just blur it out a little bit. You know, I can do it a lot or enough so that we understand what it is, but it's not too prominent. And I like that. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to go to the shape tool and over here under fill color, I want to change that to white and stroke color. I want to turn that off because I don't want a stroke. I just want a white rectangle. What I want to do is something like this where the white rectangle is going to give me the surface area for my message. Ideally, this would be semi-transparent. And as of right now, I don't believe Pix has that feature. So what I'm going to do is export these two layers, which are over here, they're layers, separately. So for now, I'm going to turn off my rectangle and just export my champagne. So let's give it a name. Champagne. And then now I'm going to turn that off and turn my rectangle back on. And I'm going to export that horizontal white rectangle. I'm done in Pix, so I'm going to go back to Doodly and I'm going to click the props tab and this little blue and white plus sign and I'm just going to go ahead and take these two and drag and drop them into place. I can bring them in together, select them both and resize them at the same time. That way they, they size in proportion to one another. If you need to, you can zoom out so you can see what you're doing a little bit better. Okay, that looks good. And now I can place my white anywhere I'd like. And I just want it like this. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. Now remember, opacity. While Pix didn't have that feature, Doodly does. So go over here to your gear icon and opacity, turn it down. I'm going to try 90%. I think that'll be just about right. And see now you can see, it's kind of hard to tell. There we go. You can see the champagne glasses are somewhat visible. You can change the opacity down even further if you'd like, but I think this one's fine for my purposes. Now let's place these where they need to go in the back. And that's looking much nicer. The last thing we want to do is just 
adjust our um, timing and how they appear. So if we were to look at this video right now, you'd see six full seconds of getting this background in place, which is way, way, way too long. And of course, I don't like the scribbles. And then our message begins. So let's go ahead and fix that. Go to settings. I like to turn smart mode, erase mode off. And that's because the hand, I don't like the hand erasing white only to put more stuff on. So personal preference. I'm going to go with a cartoon hand and let's, let's use this guy today. Click apply. Now let's deal with the background first. Do we want it already in place or do we want it to come on? I'd say let's have it come on. So click pencil. Rather than scribble, I'm going to choose for it to fade. Click save and return. And then I'm going to tell it how long this fade's going to be. And I'm going to just make it a second and a half. I'm going to do the same with my white. So pencil icon. Fade. Save and return. And duration, I'm going to make it half a second. And then I think everything else will be pretty good. I'll make that maybe a little shorter. And then at the end of the scene, scene settings here, I'm going to add some time and click apply. And so now let's take a look at our background and how the video looks with it. And there you have it. That's how you can use pics to bring in a different background into your doodly videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Happy New Year and thanks for watching.